We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. All right, I'm here with TJ representing ZWO. Yes. And there are so many new products here. Um, TJ, let's get a rundown on what these products are and just try to get, for people who haven't had a chance to get to Neath this year, what's new here at the ZWO booth? So we just rolled out a whole new scope lineup. We have the ZWO FF107 in front of us. We also have the 130, we have the 80, and the 65. The 65 is a quintuplet refractor, while the others are all quads. On this APO 107, we also have the ASI Air Plus. This is the new ASI Air Plus, which has 256 gigabytes of space on the EMMC. What was the old one? The old one was 32 gigabytes. Oh my, this so, is a huge increase, especially with the larger camera sensors with more megapixels. That's very important. Exactly, and for me, I'm a huge planetary and solar imager. So now, with the old ASA Air Plus that had 32 gigabytes of space, I could only put eight frames on there because oh, wow. each frame would be four gigabytes. But now I'm multiplying that by eight, and I can stay out there much longer and capture more data before I have to transfer it back over. Excellent. So the other thing we have too that's pretty cool is this, uh, the rotator. Have a you, rotator. Yeah, have you seen this a yet? A rotator. Yes. Yes. I know that this has been a big deal. Everybody's been excited to hear about this. So let us let us know what yeah, this is all so about. So this is the camera angle rotator. What it does is it rotates your field of view without having to go out there and manually do it. So as you can see, it has an M54 opening. However, you can replace this M54 opening with an M48 or even an M42, depending on your scope's needs. Now, when I attach this to another ZWO uh, device, whether it be like a filter wheel or a camera or whatever, is it going to provide me with like a zero backspacing? So we have 16.5 millimeters of backspacing on this. So it will replace the existing 16.5 millimeter spacing. So it, it works right out of the box. That's awesome. Yeah. So let's talk about the new dual uh, camera. So this is the new ZWO dual camera. What it has is the 2600 sensor. So it's APS-C OSC sensor. But we also integrated the 220, which is a monochrome sensor. And this is like our latest and greatest monochrome guiding sensor. The quantum efficiency is 93%. Wow. Yeah, that's really sensitive. On the side, you'll see a little silver dial. That's a fine micro focuser, so you can focus the small 220 chip. Okay, so this is a, but this is a color camera? Yes. Um, with a monochrome guide camera. Exactly. So you're running two camera sensors off of one USB 3 port. And it so recognizes we, them as separate devices. It does. Then. It does it. So if you're in the ASI Air or if you're on your image capture software, it recognizes that two separate cameras. Excellent. Yeah. Now, um, I could see this, there's many applications for this. Uh, I was thinking it would be really cool on top of like a Rasa where you don't have an easy way of attaching it in gui a guide scope mm -hmm. uh, off axis. This is now taking care of that need uh, in, in some of those focal, uh, like prime focus type telescope exactly. setups, which is pretty cool. So I'm excited because I'm going to bring this home and put it right on my Hyperstar. And, right. and yep, yep. now that eliminates the need for the guide scope there because it's all going to be integrated in there. Excellent. So it's going to be some cool stuff to stay tuned into. Very cool. Yeah. So um, we have now another mount from you guys. I know the AM5 has been around for a little while now. Yeah. This is now the AM3. Can you give us a little bit of information on yeah, that? Yeah, so this is the AM3. It's a strain wave drive, harmonic drive mount. It's smaller than the AM5. It has a little bit less capacity, weight capacity than the AM5. Um, you'll also notice there's you still have your hand controller on here, but you can also connect to it through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So it's a really cool device. It's lightweight. It's a great grab and go. You can just pick it up and, and go. Wow. So it, it weighs roughly about uh, four kilos, which is a little over eight pounds. So it's lightweight, great to travel with. and. So you recommend like the maximum size scope that you know you would personally run on this? Yeah. So the weight capacity on this scope is uh, eight kilos, so about 16 pounds, without a counterweight on the bottom, because you can screw a counterweight into the bottom. So it can take <clears throat> double the amount of weight on its 
uh, actually riding on top as the actual amount itself weighs. Yes. Yep. Wow. So eight, uh, eight kilos without the counterweight, and then 13 kilos with the counterweight. Oh, wow. So now you're looking at 26 over, over pounds. Triple. Yeah, over 26 pounds for this little mount. All right, so this is definitely a device I've never seen before. Can you explain what it is I'm looking at? This is an awesome device here. This is the Sea Star. It's uh, basically you set it down on the ground in the parking lot, and you can control it via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi from your smartphone or a tablet. And you can see the stars, you can see the moon, you can see uh, great things above us. So what it has is a 50 millimeter objective here. It's a three element APO triplet and there's also a 462 MC camera sensor built into it. Wow. There's a dark filter so you can capture ca your calibration frames, and then there's also an infrared filter on it. So inside our app that we have, we also have a planetarium, so you have the whole sky at your fingertips. It's incredible and it's great, and I can see this being the thing for star parties and for outreach and schools. I assume that the app is in the same kind of feel and function as the ASI Air. Yes, the planetarium that's inside the Sea Star app is identical to the the ASI Air. So for folks that are just getting started, this could be a great way to kind of get themselves started with astrophotography in a ready-to-go kit. Absolutely, it's based on an Altaz platform. There's an internal battery. It's a six-hour. Uh, chargeable battery. It's you can power it from a power bank because it only requires uh, five volt or five volts. So you can power it right from a oh, cell wow. phone charger. USB 2C input on there and output to transfer the files, or you can transfer the files via Wi-Fi. Very cool innovation here. I, I'm excited to see what this can do. And uh, thanks very much. DJ. Yeah, absolutely. This has been awesome. Thank really you. Really appreciate your time and. Uh, it's great to be back here at NEEF, and it's obvious you guys have been pretty busy. Very busy. So uh, looking forward to see what happens by next year. And as you guys can see, ZWO is, is on all cylinders right now, <laughs> hitting us up with like four new products uh, and many options within the product line uh, beyond that. So if you haven't had a chance, please check these out.